Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm here today with another box from Scrawler Box. So if this is the first time you've ever seen one of my Scrawler Box unboxing videos, what you need to know first is Scrawler Box is an art subscription box. Now, what does art subscription box mean? It means like it's an art box magazine except the art magazine is a box and it comes with the supplies in the magazine no there's actually no magazine it's just really cool because scroller box sends out these really cool boxes full of art supplies along with a fun art challenge inside and i can't wait any longer let's open it up here's the mail it never fails it makes me want to wag my tail when it comes i want to wail Mail. Oh, this is what it looks like inside. Beautiful lilac paper, a tissue paper goodness. We did it to do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open it, crack it open. Oh! So the first thing the scrawler box sends us in the box is a really cool art print. So if you're missing some awesome art on your blank walls, then chances are you need to get scrawler box because they send you beautiful pieces of art print. So if I want to know a little bit more about this artist that made this particular image, I can look on the back. It gives me all the information about this artist. Another handy dandy thing that Scrawler Box includes in their box is a handy dandy notebook. I mean bookmark. <laughs> I don't know why I have blues clues on my mind today. So on this bookmark, it tells me about all the art supplies that I got in this particular box. So I can look at it just in case, you know, I want to know the exact same, like the exact name if I want to know about it. Sometimes they include instructions on how to use each and one of these art supplies. Ooh, so this is called a Wink of Luna brush. It means it's sparkly. Ah! It says open. Wink of Luna! This brush pen is a perfect tool for adding vibrant color and subtle metallic effect to your artwork. This brush tip is a real bristle tip, so variations in pressure can... I love sparkle pens! Hold on, someone's at my door. So these are Statler Norris colored pencils. Ooh, I don't think I've ever tried Statler colored pencils before. So this is exciting because it's yet another fun challenge for me to experiment with colored pencils. All oh, those are just cool looking. Check these out. <gasps> Woo! These are so cool and they feel so, they feel so legit. I don't know why. Oh, oh my gosh, it's like, they, ah, they're so cool. I wish you guys could reach through the camera and feel them because they feel really, really cool. Look how pretty these are. Whee, they're so pretty. I've got a nice art line, 210 medium, 0.6. That's a good tip. That's really good for like bolder lines because one of my favorite bolder tips are 0.5. So this is going to be super nice and is blue. <laughs> have an art line, 200 fine line, 0.4. So that's a little bit, oh, that's smaller than a 0.5 and the 0.6 that I just showed you. So that's really, really, really nice. And it's black, so good lining pen. And then I have a art line poster marker. Where were these when I was doing science projects? <laughs> you hear that and you automatically already assume it's like a paint pen and it basically is. So when you hear that, it's a paint pen. And then I have a Curatake Post Chalk Dry Wipe Marker. A water-based pigment marker in which the chalky lines appear gradually after drawing. So my favorite thing about Scrawler Box is what comes on the back of the Scrawler Box Supplies bookmark. And that happens to be the Scrawler Challenge. So what the Scrawler Challenge is about is that they challenge you in every single box to make a piece only using the supplies that they have given you and they also are oh so kind to send you the appropriate kind of pieces of paper to use with all these art supplies so this is super nice thick paper and this scrawler challenge prompt and i have to make a beautiful art piece only using these supplies are you whining so this month's scrawler challenge happens to be <gasps> shattered self shattered self. So let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse and I will show you using these art supplies only how I would interpret 
this scrawler challenge shattered self. Let's go. Oh, best part. Ooh, it's called fizzers. This is me a fizzes in my mouth. Are you ready, ready? It's actually fizzing in my mouth. These are like Smarties 2.0. Oh my goodness. This is the best day in the entire universe. Jazzy, look. Try one. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about what I decided to draw for my Shattered Self prompt for the Scrawler Challenge this month. So, when I was thinking of Shattered Self, I wasn't trying to be too psychological with it because that's just depressing. Instead, I went the route that in some parallel universe, there, I mean, uh, there is a parallel universe on the other side of mirrors. I've seen many movies and many, like, TV shows spin off talking about, like, there's another world on the other side of the mirror. When you're looking at yourself, there's, like, a reflection reflective person on the other side so I thought it'd be cool if there was like if you looked in the mirror and there was all these people on the other side and they were all like look like broken glass or they were just like they were your mirror image but they're broken I'm not trying to be psychological with it but let's talk about the art line 200 fine line 0.4 that you see you saw me line the two girls the girl looking in on herself it's her mirror image that's the broken part so it's really nice to line with I really enjoyed that it's a good size too the 0.4 I use 0 0.5 and 0 0.1 are my favorites, but I like that I had 0 0.4 to work with finally. And so let's talk about the Statler color pencils. Um, they're definitely not Prismacolor pencils, but they're very similar to Crayola pencils. They have a hard tip because Prismacolor softcore pencils are kind of like they're creamy and they're very pastel-y where they blend into each other. And if you work, work with Prismacolor pencils, then you know what I'm talking about. As opposed to Statler and Crayola pencils, they have a very hard like tip and they're really, for some reason, I just couldn't blend well with the Statler color pencils. It was interesting to work with for once and it's just always interesting to work with different colored pencils. There's so many different variations. So it's just interesting. I didn't know Statler color pencils existed, but I knew about their pens, but I had no idea about their colored pencils. So it was really nice to finally give these a try, but they weren't so, they were nice to kind of color in and shade once, but they weren't fun to, they didn't they didn't want me to like layer on top and I love layering with my colored pencils and Statler wasn't having it <laughs> so let's talk about the Curitake Wink of Luna I love this pin I was having so much fun because it is like a brush tip pin and I just put it all over mirror images um hair because I was in love with it what's really interesting about the Wink of Luna is that you can kind of, it, it's just like, you can't put anything on top of it. You can watch as I'm applying the Artline 210 Medium Liner, that blue pin. It wasn't letting me put anything on top of the Curitake Week of Luna. So I thought that was fascinating. That even though I was putting like the black ink and the blue ink on top of the Wink of Luna, it wasn't it wasn't layering. It wasn't letting me put anything on it. So this whole piece is just like, you're not allowed to layer anything. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, I had no idea how to use the Curtake Post Chalk Dry Wipe Marker. <laughs> so the metallic poster marker was actually the same kind of metallic blue that the Wink of Luna was. So I was really excited about that. So I used the metallic poster marker on the background. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. My mirror image girl that is reflect the other reflective parallel universe actually reminds me of Loki in Thor, like the ice elves. So that's what I thought when I was creating the mirror image, but it's a broken skin, a broken look, I don't know. <laughs> Fun. If you would like to get your own scrawler box, the rah rah rah, um, then look in the info box down below. I'm also gonna put the website right here. So make sure you go and check out their website and look at the opportunities that Scrawler Box has for you and get your own subscription. If you wanna participate with me on the Scrawler Challenge and just basically happy birthday to you every single month in your mailbox or on your doorstop, then 
get the scrawler box. I love scrawler box because it always challenges me. Art challenge. I'm always looking for art challenges because I know that they challenge my creativity. And that's what scrawler box does. It really pushes me past my limits. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then check out last month's scrawler box. <laughs> that really pushed me past my limits. Thank you so much, scrawler box, once again for sending me a fantastic box of amazing art supplies. I'm always so excited to get a box from you guys. But yes, I hope you all have a most wonderful day. Didn't even phase her. And I will see you all later. Bye! Do 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 do.